So here we have to find the value of the coefficient of 1 over x in this expansion. Now we have to understand what is the coefficient of 1 over x. For example, if I ask you for the coefficient of x squared, for example, the value in the beginning or in front of x squared will be called the coefficient of x squared. Same thing, the coefficient of 1 over x is simply the value in front of 1 over x. So let's see how can we find this. So now we know that we have to expand this binomial expansion. So I have 2x minus 1 over x power 5. Now, I do know that by using the formula, we can have an expansion as follows. I will have 5 because the power is 5, and we 5, choose something we don't know yet. And then the first term is 2x. And then here we have minus 1 over x. Now, if I choose the power here, for example, uh, let's call this uh, y. This will also be y, and that will be 5 minus y. So this is the normal, not normal, but usually this is how you would expand one of the term of this expansion. Now, I have to choose y such that the term will have something in 1 over x. So let's see, how can we do this? So let's do this by trial and error. Obviously, it is done by trial because we don't know exactly which one is going to be. So we can observe and see which one we have to choose. Let's say if I choose y to be the value of, let's think. So here we need 1 over x. So we need this to be remaining 1. So let's choose y to be 3. So you will have 5. Choose 3. That will be 2x. 5 minus 3 is 2 and then minus 1 over x, that will be 3. So now you can see, in this case, I will have what? 5 choose 3, that will be 10. That will be 4x squared multiplied by minus 1 over x cubed. Now, simply, we just have to simplify. This one will cancel out with this. So you will have what? Minus 40, 1 over x. So the coefficient of 1 over x will be the value in front of 1 over x. Your answer will be minus 40. Now again, this is only one of the ways of doing that question. However, if you guys are not comfortable with this method, you can always expand everything and then choose the one which has the term 1 over x and just provide the coefficient as your value for your answer. This is the question for this binomial expansion.